One major indicator of kabuki is the striking makeup painted on the actors' faces. While many other versions of theater around the world also costume the actors, the significance and extravagance of the character's appearance is a form of storytelling in kabuki. Kesho is the base version of makeup used by the actors. All attributes of their makeup display different information about the characters they play. It represents age, gender, and social status. This first starts with a pure white face for all characters, with female roles, played by males in most cases, having paint down their back due to the wide neckline of the kimono worn. They choose to do this for multiple reasons. It represents aristocracy in some instances, but in plays where a lower class character plays a major role, it can represent innocence and purity. As well as this, it creates a blank canvas so actors can change their features to better express emotions. For example, they will repaint the eyebrows higher on the face or reshape the lips to appear more feminine by making them smaller. Female characters in most cases have thin eyebrows with small mouths, whereas samurai have eyebrows that are much more defined, as well as extra lines at the corner of their mouths to enhance a stoic expression. For legendary characters in folklore, or a more specific style of kabuki called aragato, a different more elaborate kind of makeup was developed called kumadori. These designs are striking and stand out against the bold costumes the actors wear. This also is a way for actors to portray the transformation of a character until they reach their final status. It is most often used on heroes, villains, and yokai or oni, which are supernatural creatures and demons. Different colors represent different emotions or traits within these characters. For example, a hero's kumadori is often red, representing traits like courage, passion, virtue, and superhuman power. A villain's kumadori is usually blue to represent jealousy and fear, and oni or yokai is mostly brown or green to represent the supernatural. With all the hidden meaning within the makeup of each actor, their appearance becomes a prop or special effect to present the story. Each of the actors apply their own makeup to complete their transformation in the role they are playing. This makes Chesho a major storytelling piece within Kabuki, rather than just a way to change appearance. Together, these aspects create a unique theatrical display that tells the audience of the characters on a grand scale without explicitly stating it. This allows for different kind of immersions into the legends told on the Kabuki stage. Their makeup and their outfits can transform throughout to tell a story of progression within a character rather than other methods such as inner dialogue, whether they show great fury against their enemy or they are possessed by a powerful god. It also calls back to the cultural beginnings of Kabuki and rituals and the use of makeup there. Kesho is a way of the actor truly transforming into the character they are portraying rather than many other versions of theater around the world that do not put on elaborate makeup. And at the end of the play, actors may press their masks onto a sheet of cloth to preserve the character that was portrayed within the makeup. The importance of Kesho and Kabuki goes much beyond just the appearance of the characters, but the true embodiment of a legendary role among folklore making the actors' makeup in kabuki props that are pivotal to tell the legends. The look of a character itself draws from the actor's own perception of the role they're playing, creating a completely different feel when they perform on stage. It is their way of truly displaying legendary characters on a level that represents their immense power and status to the crowd. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thank you.